A joint operation to deliberately deny criminals room for maneuver and change of locations and hideout has been approved by a forum of prominent state players as part of a new initiative to curb the growing insecurity in the country. Key actors who endorsed the move include Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF, Boss Mustafa, National Security Advisor, NSA, Babagana Mogono, and Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Umar Farouk, Minister of Environment, Dr. Abu Bakar Mahmoud, and the 36 secretaries to the state government also approved the new operation. The resolution was part of the decisions reached at the first quarter regular meetings by the Forum of Secretary to the Government of the Federation with secretaries to the state government, which held virtually on Thursday. According to a communique issued yesterday, the meeting urged the secretaries to the state government to explore possibilities of joint operations by states to prevent free movement by criminals between states. This is to avoid bandits from areas of hot pursuit to other areas and returning when the heat is down, the communique stated. Themed role of secretaries to the state government in strengthening subnational level security architecture. The meeting was chaired by Mustafa in company with other stakeholders. The forum called on the federal government to strengthen border controls in order to check illegal immigrants and influx of weapons from other countries. It emphasized the need to resuscitate community-driven safety measures and address existing trust deficits to encourage willingness to release information to state security agencies. The meeting emphasized the need to recalibrate our traditional governance system to the time-tested and proven methods of responsiveness to civil society at the local levels, which hitherto prevailed in the country, the communique stated. The forum said there was need to automate the national security architecture and provide adequate resources for personnel, equipment, and operations. It highlighted the need to improve the current low police to population ratio and imbibe community policing. It reiterated the need for, for appropriate public enlightenment to raise security awareness among the citizenry. The meeting equally recognized the coordinating role of the secretaries to the state government and called on them to strengthen non-kinetic approaches, especially by establishing a community-level early warning system. The forum also noted progress made in strengthening federal and state government's relationship in delivering poverty eradication initiatives and called for sustenance and scaling up in view of the growing poverty situation in the country. Farouk disclosed that there was an ongoing high-level consultation to establish structures that will ensure that all agencies responsible for implementing poverty eradication programs and projects cooperated. The consultation is also to ensure that the agencies are well-coordinated to share experiences, share data, and complement each other for effectiveness, better deployment of resources, and higher poverty reduction impacts, she said. Farouk said that at the federal level, there will be National Poverty Eradication Cooperation and Coordinating Committee, NPCCC, chaired by her. She explained that at the state level, there will also be a Poverty Eradication Cooperation and Coordination Scheme, SPCCC, under the offices of SSGs and aimed at achieving similar objectives. The minister said that the ministry had established the National Social Register, NSR, aimed at capturing in details the data of all poor and vulnerable citizens in the country, adding, so far nearly 30 million individuals have been registered nationwide. The forum further examined the inextricable linkage between environmental degradation, security and conflict for resource use and management. It called for a national forestry and Bodavai city summit and all the federal Ministry of Environment to provide leadership for its convocation. The forum urged state governments to strengthen their various forestry services, especially by prioritizing sustainable forest management practices, developing and adhering to forest management plans, and strengthening the state forestry services. It appealed to the federal government to support the Federal Ministry of Environment in undertaking a comprehensive forest resource assessment. 
Uh, we are hoping that um, this meeting, everything they've just done, because we just had a virtual meeting, that it, it doesn't just end on that desk there, because that is what we see happening. They go for a meeting and there is no continuity, there is no follow-up, nothing, no action is taken. That is the, the, the main word to use. There is no action, no commitment to all that they have stated. You know, when these are leaders, the, the, when... At the point we begin to see results is when they begin to match their actions with commitments, not just commitments. They also, no, they start to match um, their words with actions. So after speaking, then they act. Because right now they've spoken that this is what and what and what and what they will do. They've listed a whole lot. And to be honest, all of these are good. They are very commendable. Very, very good. It's good. But the, the thing is that we did, we did really follow it up. We did act upon it. We need not just end on the decks of someone. They've had a meeting now, and they are so proud to tell Nigerians that this is what we are doing regarding the insecurity issue. Nigerians are happy to even hear about that. You know, these um, criminals, they move from state to state after committing um, crime in a, in a locality, in a community. They move to another locality until everything dies down. So they are trying to watch and um, stop this movement of criminals. That would help us well to go a long way. But will it be acted upon? These are leaders. They need to get to the point that it's not just words. It's not just saying things that will do this and do this and do that without acting upon it. They've said a whole lot. But uh, at the point where um, Nigerians would be really, really glad where it will complete everything they've stated is the point of their action. They really need to act upon it. So this meeting was... Uh, uh, in attendance, the SGF was there, and the person of um, Boss Mustafa. NSA was there as well, Babagana Mungono, Inspector General of Police was there as well, and other states, uh, uh, Secretary to the State um, Government of the 36th State, they were all part of this meeting, sitting together, um, strategizing how to move the country forward. All of these are good, but let them add action to their words. And after action has been put, let them add commitments and the last thing that will sum it up, there should be passion about all of these that they have stated. If they are not passionate about eradicating poverty, you know, regarding the poverty um, aspect they talked about, they stated that 30 million Nigerians out of the 200 million, 30 million, they have their details already that these people are less privileged, they are not well to do, they are either vulnerable or they are, uh, they are very poor. So they need to add um, compassion. They need to be compassionate about all these things they've stated they want to do. Well, my people, it's a good one. It's a good one how to flush out and bandits. And this is a joint operation that has just been endorsed. Let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, press on that notification bell, guys. Press the bell until it turns gray. God bless you. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.